Hello everyone, I am Saket Bansal. I am in a project management education. And in this video, I am exploring the PMI's Infinity PMP Exam Simulator, the new tool which they have launched in collaboration with ChatGPT4. In order to use this particular tool, you need to have an access to ChatGPT4, which is a paid version. You cannot use this particular URL, which is coming also available in our description with your free ChatGPT. So that's a one point you need to keep in mind. Usually the subscription cost for the ChatGPT Plus is around $20 per month. It depends when you purchase it. And it also requires uh, 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 that pro sometime a wait list. So sometimes it's not available directly. So you need to check it out whenever you want to take it. In general, it's a good uh, subscription. You can use ChatGPT for other purposes also. Uh, it's just like an additional thing which, which is available if you have a ChatGPT version for access. Let's see how to use this particular tool and make some judgment if it is a useful tool for your PMP preparation or not. So you open a tool, it comes up and it says, you know, this, I, I just go to a chat rather than chat GPT, I need to go to the main version. So I need to select PMP infinite thing because I am using chat GPT for other purposes as well. So it gives me information. You can explore 175 questions and instantly uncover the intensity of each response, deepen your understanding of the project management, concept and get you ready for the project management professional certificate great idea but here is the problem how i'm going to access 175 question by prompting it here but i am a user of chat gpt4 i understand the chat gpt4 only allows me up to 40 messages in three hours after that it will show error and it will tell me wait for another three hours you can see this screen and I happen to reach till question number 18, I guess. And after that, I start getting this message. And the problem is the way this tool is designed, it consumes minimum two messages per question. Yeah. So I need to say, give me a question when it gives me, I, then I need to submit the answer. And then they will ask, do you want to continue? I need to say yes, then only it will give a next question. So per question, I will consume two messages. So maximum I can do 20. If I end up doing a little bit argument in between with the tool, then my messages are gone. Yeah, So that's a problem. Now, the second problem is somebody can say, OK, no problem. I will do 20 questions at a time and then I will continue from there. That's also a problem. Let's look into the tool again and say how many questions I have taken in past session. Yeah, so I ask this question. So probably it will tell that I don't have an ability to tell you how many questions you have taken in the past sessions. So I need to start fresh. Now, one of the trick I was playing with, I was saying that I will remember what question number I have taken and then I will start with the same number. Now, I am still not sure is the sequence of the questions are the same all the time. I can ask if the tool can uh, explain me, does the, Sequence of the questions remains the same in all sessions. Randomized. So each different each question represents a different order of things. It may vary the overall experience. Then it's a hit and try. I may get the same question when I'm trying it again. So this is the biggest limitation. I can't use this tool to explore 175 questions in one or two days. It may take multiple days before I can play with it. Yeah? So that's the first limit you need to keep in mind. Again, if you have an access, you may want to play with it, but that's a limitation you need to keep in your mind. Let's see, okay, ask me PMP preparation question. So it is doing some analysis for PMP preparation question. Uh, it used to throw the question very promptly, but now I don't know why it is going in the analysis. Maybe it might have learned my pattern and trying to give me a little appropriate question. Possible, I don't know, uh, but it is going into analysis. So it consumes time. That's the, the thing. It's a little unpredictable and uh, it, it shows me question after some analysis. So I'm waiting. Hopefully the after this analysis, the question will appear, which I can handle, yeah. Uh, 
let me try again to select a PMP preparation question for you. Um, so I have prepared. Okay, now we got some questions. So after something, yeah. Uh, so a project manager is working on deployment project of a new software product. The project manager noticed that the equipment ordered for the project is not compatible with the existing technical infrastructure. What should the project manager do the first? Yeah. So we know we need to acknowledge the problem, we need to analyze the problem, and then need to resolve the problem. That's the type of question coming in. Analyze the business impact uh, in order to reprioritize the project. Yeah. Request to negotiate with the vendor for a lower price for the correct equipment may not be. Ask to order new equipment immediately so there is no delay. Acknowledge these constraints and take them into account in the project plan. Yeah. So that seems to be a little tricky. Uh, So uh, I think uh, the option A may look the, the best thing. So I will analyze and then I will take the appropriate session. Though it, it focus on business impact, the word business is little too much, but I go with A and I hope if I am wrong, it will explain me. Yeah. So let's see what the answer comes in. Yeah. So it is saying, great, you had a right option. So unfortunately, we can't explore uh, uh, the another one. Now he's saying, are you ready for the next question? So I'll say, yes, you know, my prompt is gone. <laughs> so my message is gone. And then uh, it is giving me the next question. Uh, it was not doing such kind of complicated analysis before. It was promptly showing me the question. But now looks like it is spending some time uh, to do that. Now I wish I will put a wrong option here this time. A project manager is leading a new implementation project with a global project management team. Uh, uh, as a team member, uh, uh, our, our different geographical location and time zone, the project manager has to decide on the most effective team engagement strategy. Yeah? So the quality of question as of now I see is good. Yeah? So it is not very straightforward. Tell me about this, this uh, document. Tell me about this process. Uh, it's randomized. So your experience may differ, but at least the two questions which I have seen after playing with it looks good. So here they are saying that you are leading a new implementation project, global team, team member are different geography. The project manager is, is focusing on how do we communicate and engage with people. So develop a communication management plan, looks a good, set up a daily conference call to track the work. It should be a part of development of communication plan. Ask all the team member to utilize an online task board. Yes, yeah, but it should be a part of communication management plan uh, to ask the team members to align their work schedule. So I think I go with A. Let me see if it gives me a little bit more uh, better answer than, than what I am trailing. So it is saying, yeah, it is it is good. Though the question language was good, I think options were pretty easy to predict because we can easily see that communication management plan and everything else was coming as a, uh, including in the in, in, in a communication management plan. So it is explaining that yes, A is good idea. Now, if I say just as a, as a uh, exploration, why not B? Yeah, so I asked the question. That's the capability of the tool. You can interact. So it is saying choosing option B, set up daily conference call to track the work, might seem to be like practical step, but it is not necessarily the first action project manager should take in this scenario. Okay, uh, uh, here is why developing a communication management plan is a better first. It is comprehensive strategy. It is a global team consideration, flexibilities, foundation. And in summary, while daily conference call be a part of the communication strategy, the first and more fundamental step to develop a company, a comprehensive communication management plan. So I think it, it does a decent job in explaining it, but it could have summarized and said, you know, there is a possibility of you doing daily call. There could be a possibility of doing your alternate day call, the exact things. Uh, and when you are talking about communication management plan, this all is included. So why, do, why are you worried? So if I get that, I could have summarized it. But in general, in general, if I look at a, a other available option, this is a nice explanation. So the questions has a limit. Yeah, that's first we learn. But the question quality is, is, is good. I say average and better than average, if I would say. Options uh, could have been better. Explanation is good. Uh, uh, commenting or argument could have been improved, but it's good. It's good. It helps you in developing a good understanding. So that part is, is decent. Now, if I ask a you know, little bit about, tell me the domain of, yeah, yeah, PMP exam domain of this question. Let me ask that question to the uh, uh, this one. 
So I solely focus on providing the PMP exam question and their answer. I don't provide specific information about exam domain or categories of this question. Each question is designed to cover the range of topics. For further information, go there. Yeah, so it, it, it is not telling me uh, the domain of the exam domain of this question. So can you map this question to the ECO task? So if I ask that, so again, more or less, it is saying, I don't know. Yeah, that's the, the problem. Okay, so I can ask, maybe uh, you can say you can go to PMI.org and find out the official study guide about the ECOs. So that's a, a limitation. Now I can say, what all domain questions you have? Yeah, can you list it? So it is saying my focus is to provide broad range of things. May I aim to assist you? This, 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 and this is what we are doing. And then PMP exam itself is, has several domain, including but not limited to this. Uh, but detailed breakdown of exam specific task and acknowledge. I recommend you referring PMP exam content outline. And are you ready to practice another question? So I think it is avoiding my question in a way. So I wanted to understand what all you cover. So, but here it is listing things like project management, integration, scope, schedule, cost, quality, resource, communication, risk, procurement, stakeholders. Yeah, so they are saying it is coming from all these areas, but not limited. I little bit smell the PMBOK 6 heavy content, but I can't be pretty sure because it is it is playing little uh, uh, differently. So it is saying, you know, okay, this all is done, but you better do the next uh, uh, question. Yeah. So uh, I can say, okay, how I'm doing? Uh, so I probably ask uh, the result or thing. Certainly within this session, you have answered two questions and both of your responses were correct. Great job for so far. Keep in mind that consistent practice and understanding will say, would you like to continue with another question? So you can say, yes, let me do it. I don't know till how we can do because after 20 messages, we will have the uh, uh, 40 messages in three hours. We will have limit reached yeah, and I will be playing a little bit here and there. So your project team has a complete access to your project related data, including visual data information like Gantt chat and all. However, a project team repeatedly requ request more granular details of work packages that the, within the Gantt chat indicate. The Gantt chat confirmed to be a comprehensive and current. Other project team members feels that current Gantt chat is sufficiently detailed. Uh, what should the project manager do to assess the situation? So what we are picking up is that there are a, a disagreement. Uh, people are saying, I need to get more information. Yeah, uh, that's there. Um, uh, however, project team members repeatedly requesting more granular detail. Uh, uh, the other project team members are feeling comfortable. Yeah. So create a new communication channel with a granular update. Ensure the team members understand the granular information. Uh, retrieval process. Uh, remind the project team member that the Gantt chart was the agreed format. Continue to ignore the project team members' request. Yeah. So I can't do uh, create a new communication channel with the granular updates. That seems to be a good idea. Ensure that team member understand the granular information retrieval process. That also seems to be a new idea, a good idea. So uh, creating a new communication channel with the granular update. Uh, 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 I think I go with B. Uh, this is something I can do. It's a little tricky for me at least. So it is saying, yes, you are right. Your response is appropriate, uh, but I want to but again, I am I'm worried about my messages also. I would say, why not A? Yeah. So this, this, this is the beauty. This is something we can do. Creating a new communication channel with granular update. That seems to be a like proactive approach, but it is not most efficient in this scenario. Efficient in resource allocation, standardization, consistency, capability building. Um, yeah, so assessing the real need, creating both processes. And in summary, let me focus on summary. The option B is the more efficient and effective step in address to the team members need without unnecessarily complicating the project communication structure. Yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> actually the, 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 the thing which is coming out is, uh, it was a very close choice, but yeah, we can get in our PMP exam these kind of close choice questions as well. Yeah. So I can ask which domain this question belong to? Let's see, I'm trying to stress on the domain. Let's see the PML, I'm not focused on providing practical question. 
I will not, I do not categorize or specify the domain of each question and all those things. Yeah. So it, it still stuck uh, there. So overall, all in all, I think uh, uh, you can play, play with this particular tool, develop some understanding. Uh, but uh, with the limitation of number of questions in a one go and uh, having randomization also there, I do suspect as you do practice, the quality of questions will start improving. I do suspect because I can see uh, this happening for me because in the initial stages, the questions were pretty much uh, straightforward, talking about domain, talking about identifying stakeholders and all, pinbox six style. But now in this particular session, whatever three question I have done, it was little improved one. Yeah. So I, I sense it will adapt as you go along. Uh, so you can use it if you have ChatGPT4 available just to play with it. Uh, primarily subscribing to ChatGPT4 just to use PMP exam simulator. Uh, if you don't have other purposes of using it, probably not a, a good idea. And I think you should use it when you are a little casually preparing for exam. You are not during not the final days of your PMP exam preparation because during that time you don't want to waste time in asking some prompt, waiting for three hours and all those things, uh, that may not be a good idea. Yeah. So this is overall my recommendation. If you are our client, I recommend you focus on our simulators. They are pretty comprehensive and not to focus too much on, on this particular space. If things change over a period of time, we will inform you. But as of now, you stick to our content and our simulator only. <music>